What's that? Oh, hey. Hi, guys. So this morning we're going to do a little something different. Well, not really. Something we haven't done in a while. And so last week, you know, I had my oncologist appointment. And um, in that they did an A1C because they do the whole blood panel. A1C was not good. My fault. I know it. Stress eating is real. Um, and once you get off track, it's it's a downhill slope. So, In order to try to get back on track and get, get me going, um, you know, uh, I'm going to start keeping track. I got to do it for me. Um, and I'm the only one that can do it, you know, it's like, I can't have somebody else do it for me because it doesn't, doesn't work. Um, the cardiologist, when we talked with her, um, unfortunately one of the medicines that she had put me on, I had ran out of about a month, a little over a month ago. And when we tried to get it to get the refill, they sent it to the family doctor and not the cardio guy lady. So there was a big mix up and then I forgot all about it. So she couldn't do, she couldn't make any adjustments or anything like that. So she wants my blood pressure numbers. Um, once I start taking it, which I have, I have. Uh, once I start taking it, get the blood pressure number so when we meet again, we can see if we need to adjust it, up, down, whatever, because my numbers were good. So all the other blood numbers, uh, blood panel came back good. So there is that. So uh, I'm going to get this ready, and then we will uh, see what, what, what my blood sugar is. I was trying last night to like I was saying I have this trouble at night where it's like nine ten o'clock at night and I get snacky I want something sweet and so what I started doing is I got the heavy whipping cream some half and half and um, zero sugar coffee creamer and made a coffee drink 203 so I had that last night and I mean that was pretty tasty I had a big quart jar full so now this I knew I was turned it the wrong way because this arrow's got to go that way And I know you're supposed to have it on, not on your shirt, but let's, uh, one twenty five over eighty five. So I'm going to write this down. So I'm still working on my Mando helmet. It's been kind of uh, non... I haven't really done nothing with it. So there's my... There's my... Uh, 10... 25... Yeah. So there's my notes. I'll write it. I'll put it in my phone in the app. It's all me. It's all me. I know better and I'm going to do better. My promise to y'all, to me. Let's take the morning meds. Cheer. All right. So with that out of the way, let's talk about something coming up. 
So mom and I were on the way home from our, from the doctor's appointments. And she made a comment she wanted to do the Couch to 5K program. I'm all for it. Go for it. But I know there is a, so our town has the, it's called Christmasville. So it's like a Christmas where they block off downtown, they do a parade, and they do all kinds of festivities and stuff like that all through the week. The first weekend, they usually have a 5K. So I put that as a challenge to, to my wife and for myself because I need to get back on track. And if I have a goal, you know, an attainable goal, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it because I don't like to fail. So the goal is we're going to, I'm going to walk the 5K. She's going to try to jog it walk run whatever but the the goal is we're going to do this 5k so uh currently right now it's not posted on their websites on um when it is but typically it's usually that first week so we're going to start she wanted to start yesterday well she wanted me to start yesterday she didn't want to start yesterday she wanted me to start yesterday so that's our goal, so um, you know we'll get out doing some more walking and stuff like that, and uh, yeah. So, cheers. Y'all can do it. Y'all can do it. If I can do it, y'all can do it. And I have enough mental combobulations going on that, hey. I can do it. You can do it. I am pushing you to be better today than you were yesterday. So, with that, um, you know, our swim season's coming to an end, and my dog is whining like crazy. I don't know why, because she just was out before I started talking to the camera. So, I don't know. Maybe she wants to be on camera. You want to be on camera? Oh, we shut up now. Okay. I don't know. But anyway, um, so we're, we've got a big, big, big meet, uh, regionals this weekend. Uh, so we're kind of pushing the kids a little bit harder this week. Okay. I'm pushing the kids harder this week because at the beginning of the season, all of them put down a goal that they wanted to accomplish this season. And some of them have hit their goals and some of them haven't. This being the last chance for them to do it. And as a dad, as a swim dad, and a swim coach, I want I want to give them that opportunity to hit it. Um, so we're pushing them a little bit harder this week. Um, coach did tell me that I thought I was done with training. There's a whole other website that has... A whole bunch of stuff and I did half of it and I still got I don't know 15 or 20 more little videos and questions to need to be done so I did that yesterday instead of afternoon land I I went to training land I would have rather went to afternoon land so today's kind of looking the same thing try to get this stuff done but uh, that's all I got for right now so uh, Y'all be awesome, man. You know, once you once you fall off the wagon, it's not the end. You can't tell yourself there's no going back because you can go back. Get back on the horse. You know, if it scares you a little, that's a good thing. Come here. There. Is this what you want? Look. You're on camera. Look. Yes. Is this what you wanted? Probably. All right. Well, that's puppy cam. Go. Oh. oh, do you want any too? There's Bubba. All right. I completely forgot what I was saying now, but, uh, anyway, that's all I got today. So y'all be awesome. And, uh, 
We'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> I, I com that completely blew my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> it happens. Y'all be awesome. Rock on.